Okay, so you know what it's like when you go camping and you, uh, you're you at a place that doesn't allow gathering of firewood, um, but you can buy firewood and it comes in a bundle, but you have no kindling. Um, and sometimes the campsites are so clean, you just don't have any kindling to pick up. So this video is gonna tell you what to do if that's the case. Stay tuned. So, so you buy a bundle of firewood and it's all big pieces. There's no small pieces to use for kindling. So what you gotta do is you gotta split it up. And I always carry my uh, condor. It's a condor knife with me. It's actually a machete. And uh, I baton the firewood down. I baton it down to whatever size I need. If I need a little bitty small pieces for kindling or sometimes your firewood is just wet and you have to split it to get the fire going because it's always dry on the inside even though it's wet on the outside so anyway i'm going to i'm going to show you how to baton your firewood all right this is my batoning machete that i use this is made by condor tool it is called a village parang machete okay. <laughs> i really like this machete um it's tooled very well and it just feels good in your hand and the grip is good. This thing right here keeps it from slipping out of your hand. And it's the balance, man. The balance is just awesome in this thing. But yeah, I would highly suggest this one. It's about 80 bucks on Amazon right now. But uh, yeah, this is what I use for batoning. Okay, you buy a bundle of firewood. This is what you get. You know, there's this has some smaller pieces. A lot of times you don't even have anything that small. First thing you want to do is you want to find, you want to look through your firewood and you want to find a batoning mallet. One that's one's about the right size to fit your hand. to it. I think that one right there worked perfect. And then what I do is I kind of chop the edges down a little bit so it fits my hand even better. Pretty good, pretty good batoning mallet right there. All right, this is how you baton firewood. This is this is what we're gonna split up. So you got your machete and you got your batoning mallet. So what you want to do is uh, set it down. You want to have enough hanging out so when you get through it, you can start hitting on this side. And boom, split it up. Now if you want to get some kindling, you'll take one of the ones that you, that you split down and you can, you can make little small pieces like that. It's as easy as that. Try not to get your machete in the dirt. It's not good for it. Now you have some kindling. 
You got some little bitty sticks to start your fire with. Then you can take one of these and feather it. All right, for feathering firewood, I like to use my Mora knife. This is a Mora knife bushcraft carbon steel with a fire starter on it. It's a nice little knife. This thing runs about $65 right now on Amazon. It's got a nice sharp edge I put on it. Let's see if we can get this on the camera here. But yeah, just start making all these little things like that. That stuff right there. That's good to get the fire started. Sometimes I tend to just do it and throw it on there. Checking the camera a lot. That right there, that will burn really good. And you got all these shavings here. Perfect, especially when all your wood's wet. I mean, this could be from the inside of a log that you've batoned out and you have nice dry wood.
hope you enjoyed this video and y'all have a good one